undergrads that come in that don't have the experience that we have, they, have, they come up with these questions that sometimes graduate students, even though they have this experience, don't even think about. And they help us to go down certain paths that we wouldn't have, have thought possible without um, these different questions that they might ask. We're interested in seeing how exactly the mechanism through which estrogen can promote the development of breast cancer. When we were doing our research, we wanted to, since we were targeting the mechanism and the pathway through which, through which estrogen can act through breast cancer cells and elicit any type of response in the cells, um, we wanted to break apart this pathway. So we looked at different parts of the pathway. What is estrogen binding to? What kind of things are activated in a cell once it binds to whatever it's binding to? So we looked at a bunch of, we wanted to look at the whole kind of aspect of with a breast cancer cell. But when we treated these estrogen receptor negative breast cancer cells with estrogen, they elicited, we saw a response. We found that it's binding to a novel receptor that is not normally, that has not been found in um, most breast cancer cells, known as ER alpha 36. And it's, this receptor is actually the receptor that estrogen's binding to, to maintain cancer cell survival. Right now, we're currently in the process of um, trying to d like investigate the pathway, as I previously mentioned, with um, estrogen being able to prevent cell death in cancer cells that have been treated with chemotherapeutic agents. We're focusing specifically on an, um, a drug known as Taxol, that when you treat cells with Taxol, they're supposed to, breast can cancer cells are supposed to die. We found that when we treat with estrogen and Taxol, the cancer cells aren't dying. Their cell death is actually going down. So they're, the cancer cells are maintaining life. They're, they're staying alive. So we're trying to figure out what, what signaling proteins are involved in the pathway that allows estrogen to do this in the cells. As a biologist, you know, undergraduate biologists can come into this lab and gain a different perspective of the class classes before they actually take the classes. So when they take the classes, they might see something that, you know, they encountered in lab and be like, oh, wow, I, I already know this. Even though I haven't read about it, like in a textbook, they, they've already been exposed to it.